In this cool sculpting procedure training video, we will discuss how to use the Cool Smooth applicator on the outer thigh. Topics include how to assess the outer thigh, plan the treatment with markings, place the applicator, and position the patient. For the right candidate, the Cool Smooth applicator is ideal for treating non-pinchable fat on the outer thigh. Unlike the vacuum applicators, the Cool Smooth applicator delivers cold through three flat cooling panels. During treatment, it delivers cold from the surface of the skin down to subcutaneous fat. Patient selection and assessment are essential to ensuring consistent and aesthetically pleasing outcomes. Ideal candidates for treatment of the outer thigh have a distinct pocket of fat with a peak. The goal for treatment is to minimize the presentation of the bulge. Patients who do not have a bulge of a pronounced pocket of fat are not ideal candidates for treatment. Use the Cool Smooth Applicator Planning Template to ensure the cooling panels make complete contact with the skin. Here is what you can expect when following the recommended treatment protocols. Before the patient arrives, prepare the treatment room. Turn on the cool sculpting system. Attach the cool smooth applicator into the system and blue cycle card into the applicator. Next, snap the reusable securement system to the top of the cool smooth applicator. On the treatment day, the patient should wear disposable underwear or bathing suit bottoms. Weigh the patient and take baseline 360 degree photos using the foot positioning guide. Assess the outer thigh while the patient is standing with their weight evenly distributed. Sit at eye level to the treatment area and assess the patient from all angles. Visually determine if the patient has a peak and pronounced pocket of fat on the outer thigh. Asymmetry is common in the outer thigh. Discuss differences in fat distribution with the patient as it will affect the marking and placement of the applicator. Instruct the patient to use the restroom before marking for treatment. While the patient is standing, wipe the treatment area with alcohol to remove excess oil or lotion from the skin. Find the natural presentation of fat and mark the peak of the bulge with an X. Outline the pocket of fat and desired treatment area. Rotate the patient and mark the other thigh. The treatment bed should be completely flat with a protective cover to keep the treatment bed clean. The gray strap should be on the bed felt side down approximately at the location of the patient's hip. Use one or more pillows between the legs to help lift and flatten the leg so that it is parallel to the bed. Shift the patient's hip to ensure that the peak of the bulge is facing the ceiling. Check the gray strap to confirm the ends meet in the middle of the X marking. Center the Cool Smooth Applicator Planning Template over the peak of the bulge and confirm that all three panels are in direct contact with the skin and outline the template with a permanent marker. Remove the adhesive foam borders and place them around the shorter sides of the template outline. The foam border should sit directly outside of the template outline so that the markings are still visible. Gently place the gel pad over the treatment area extending past the foam borders and use the back of your fingers to smooth and remove air pockets. Apply the flat liner over the gel pad and use the back of your fingers to smooth and remove air pockets. For a more comfortable experience, consider using absorbent pads or towels as a barrier between the Velcro straps and the patient's skin. Place the black strap between the legs, felt side down. Position the applicator inside of the foam borders with the umbilical going down the leg. Use one hand to firmly hold the applicator at the treatment site 
and secure the Velcro straps loosely into the securement anchor. Once all straps are in place, begin to tighten on all four sides. Visually confirm that the entire cooling panel is flush with the skin and no air gaps are visible. Apply pressure to the side panels to ensure that there is no movement and gently shake the applicator. If you observe or sense movement, continue to tighten the straps. After the cool smooth applicator is attached, secure the applicator in the support arm and help the patient onto their back in a comfortable position. Check the applicator to confirm that it did not move during transition and adjust the treatment bed to get the patient into a reclined position. Use pillows to improve the comfort of the patient and cover the patient with a blanket or sheet. After the patient is in position, engage cooling. Patients have reported feeling a heightened sensation of intense cold, stinging, aching, and cramping with the cool smooth applicator. Educate your patients and let them know that it may take longer for this treatment site to become numb in comparison to the vacuum applicators. Return to the room before the treatment ends and talk to the patient about what to expect during the applicator removal process. After cooling ends, remove the applicator, liner, and single-use gel pad. Begin the post-treatment massage immediately after the treatment ends to manipulate the fat cells when they are at their most crystallized state. In the first minute, vigorously knead the treatment area. While massaging, use the residual gel to gently remove the foam borders. Avoid pulling up on the foam borders as the adhesive will pull the skin. In the second minute, apply a deep pressure massage in a circular motion. The same person should administer the massage on both legs for consistency. Instruct the patient to stretch and use the bathroom prior to the second treatment. When applying two cool smooth applicators to the outer thigh at the same time, use the following techniques to enhance the application process. Using a permanent marker, number the disposable gray straps. Number the first gray strap with one on each side and the second gray strap with two on each side. Position the gray straps felt side down on the bed. They should be slightly crossed and positioned with enough slack on top to wrap around the body. Attach the black strap to the securement anchor closest to the applicator umbilical. Place an absorbent pad or towel over the gray straps for patient comfort. Position the patient seated upright on the treatment table with knees bent and feet flat on the bed. Center the cool smooth applicator planning template over the peak of the bulge and confirm that all three panels are in direct contact with the skin. Outline the template on both thighs. Apply the foam borders around the shorter side of the template outline on both sides. The inside of the foam borders should be positioned directly outside of the template outline. Gently place the gel pad over the treatment area and remove air pockets. Apply the liner over the gel pad and smooth out pockets of air. Consider having a second provider in the room to more easily secure the straps. One provider should be responsible for holding the applicator securely in place while the other secures the straps into the securement anchor. Start by loosely attaching the black strap around the thigh. Loosely attach the end of gray strap 2 closest to the buttock of the securement anchor. Help the patient lift their body up and pull the extra slack of the gray strap and secure the other end of the gray strap 2 across the top of the body and loosely attach it to the securement anchor. Visually confirm that the entire cooling panel is flush with the skin and no air gaps are visible. Once all straps are in place, begin to tighten on all four sides so there is no movement of the applicator. Secure the first applicator in the support arm and position the second applicator inside of the foam borders with the umbilical going down the leg. 
Loosely secure the black strap around the inner thigh and secure gray strap one closest to the buttock. Help the patient lift their body again and pull the extra slack. Secure the other end of gray strap one across the top of the body and loosely attach it to the securement anchor. Once all straps are in place, begin to tighten on all four sides. Adjust the treatment bed to get the patient into a reclined position and use pillows to improve the comfort of the patient. After the patient is in position, engage cooling on the first applicator. Wait approximately five minutes before starting the second treatment to allow time for the manual massage at the end of the treatment. The cooling panels on the applicators are equipped with sensors that measure the temperature of the tissue. If the sensors detect a sudden or unexpected change in temperature during the cooling process, the treatment will be terminated and a thermal event message will appear on the user interface screen. This may occur if the cooling panels do not make full contact with the skin or if the applicators moved during treatment and new tissue is introduced to the cooling panels. Prevent this by confirming that the straps are secure and that the entire cooling plate is making full contact with the skin prior to initiating treatment. If a Z409 thermal event error does occur, remove the applicator, liner, and gel pad and examine the treatment area before reapplying. Do not continue treatment if a thermal event appears a second time at the same treatment site. Educate patients on what to expect after treatment. In the days and weeks following treatment, the patient may experience redness, bruising, swelling, tenderness, cramping, and aching. Sensations of itching, skin sensitivity, or numbness can last several weeks after treatment. These sensations are normal, but instruct your patient to contact you if they worsen over time. Patients may begin to see results in as early as three weeks, but will experience the most dramatic results between one and three months. Bring the patient back after 30 days for a follow-up medical assessment to review results, reassess, and determine if additional treatments are needed. Treatment of the outer thigh may take more than one treatment session, so set expectations with your patient. To make the cool sculpting procedure successful in your practice, properly educate patients on what they can expect during and after treatment. Deliver transformational results by performing a 360 degree assessment and developing a customized treatment plan. Provide the patient with a positive experience by creating a relaxed and welcoming environment. Thank you for partnering with us. We look forward to helping you make the cool sculpting procedure a success in your practice. Results and patient experiences may vary. During the procedure, the patient may experience pinching, numbness, or discomfort. Following the procedure, typical side effects include temporary numbness, redness, swelling, bruising, firmness, tingling, stinging, and pain. Rare side effects may also occur. The cool sculpting procedure is not for everyone. Patients should not have the cool sculpting procedure if they suffer from cryoglobulinemia or paroxysmal cold hemoglobinuria. The cool sculpting procedure is not a treatment for obesity. As with any medical procedure, a consultation should be done by a licensed physician to determine if the patient is a candidate for treatment. Consult the cool sculpting system user manual for a complete list of contraindications and potential side effects. Treatment applications that deviate from the guidelines are not recommended.